Hi right, guys, um, this is my life, uh, Optimum 3000. Um, I've had it for about five years now. And the one thing that's uh, driving me nuts a little bit was that the slower speed could have been a, a lot slower. As you can see here, the very slowest speed is um, 125 um, RPM. And I'll just turn the machine on just so you get the feel for that speed. It's quite fast. And, you know, I was wanting to do some machine tapping on the lathe, and that speed, it just, it's just too fast. So I wanted to slow it down. And um, the, the, I ended up s slowing it down. And what I did was I just um, extended the pulleys on it. So, I'll just show you in a minute. I'll take the, the side cover off and, um, and I'll just show you the pulley system there and what I needed to do to slow this thing down. Well, I managed to slow it down to, um, it's about 67 RPM, so it's pretty close to half. So I'm pretty happy with that. So I'll just put the camera down and I'll get this cover off and I'll just show you the, 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 what I needed to do. So I've got the side cover off and um, and you can see here now, it's a, um, it's a the, the two speed system going up to the um, spindle gearbox. So you've got, low, it's on the low speed and it's the high speed. But what I've done to make it even slower, I've, I've made that into a three speed now. So it'd be low, medium and high. And what I did, this is how, the machine came from the factory. The actual, as you can see, the, the spindle is actually, doesn't protrude all the way through to the pulley, which actually worked in my favor. So what I did, I um, made myself a pulley. I'll just go get it. I made myself a pulley that actually slides into there. And it's a nice, nice sliding fit. There's no play in that. And um, what I did, I, um, I cut a little keyway into this, which lines up with this one down here. So I just um, get this little key, put that in. And now I put this pulley back on. And that is a really good fit. And having that key there, it um, gives it good drive, good strength. And then obviously I just put a bolt tip in there and hold it together. And then up on the other pulley, it had a recess here. So I made another pulley, which is this one here. And that recess fits inside there, which centralizes the pulley. And I went, I went to a maximum size, the biggest I could. So that just sits up in there. And as you can see, there's not a lot of, there's about three mil gap in between the pulley and the spindle. And, um, and I just drilled and tapped three holes into the original pulley to give it the strength. So that's what I've done. So. So as you can see now, it's gone from a two speed to a three speed. And um, I'm gonna put the camera down, bolt this back up together. And then I'll show you the, the speed that it's operating at now. Okay. So I've got it all bolted back up. I've left it, which is now um, the medium speed which was the original low and what I'm going to do I bought a little rev counter and um, what I'll do it like it says the manufacturer says the lowest speed is 125 so with the rev counter um, I've run it and it's about 120 121 rpm I'll just put the um, camera down again and, um, and I'll get the rev counter the rev the way the rev counter works it just picks up it just picks up on this reflective strip 
just there. It picks up on that reflective strip just there. Right. So anyway, I'll put the camera down and I'll get the rev counter out. This is the rev counter that I bought off eBay. It's pretty cheap, but I just did it just so I can just see what the um, RPMs are now with the new low speed. And um, turn the machine on. On its uh, low speed, which is D and L. So as you can see, it's 120 RPM. And now what I'll do, I'll go and change the um, the belt, put it on the new low speed, and then we'll put the, uh, the RPM tachometer and that, we'll check it out. Okay, just back in a sec. So there you go, I've uh, moved the pulley out to its um, uh, new low speed. And I'll just turn it on. Works really well, and um, that there is a lot more manageable speed now. If I was uh, machine tapping, I'd be quite confident to work with that speed. Anyway, I'll turn it off. Um, I'll remount this camera, and then um, we'll just verify the RPMs with the tachometer. Okay, just one second. All set to go. Sixty seven point eight. So it's pretty close to halving the speed. Uh, so I'm really happy with that and it's working really really well. So thanks for watching guys. Any comments? I'm happy to, to read. Okay, see you.